Ah, oh, they're nuts. Chris, speak on it. <laughs> you can always tell a negative, nasty person by how they react, how they act, whenever you're in a happy space. You got some people who go out casually to eat and it's their thing. They love to. They go out with their loved ones. They go and eat. Now, somebody else is always going to find themselves or a series of people on their post. You eat that? Ugh, disgusting. I hate that, that, that. You think that somebody really going to be at a restaurant? Let me go through my 5,000 friends. Let me see if John eats that because I know, oh, let me not order that because he's going to be offended by the fact that I ordered oysters and he doesn't eat that. That's stupid. That is so dumb. Yet you get on people's page and I've always found that people who are genuinely happy are not going to be hating on others. It's just not going to come from them. Listen, I ain't got to eat. I'm just happy y'all out having a good time. Everybody all smiles. That makes me feel good because I love it when you're happy. But hating negative people hate it when you're happy. They hate it. They always want you to somehow be in that space that they are in. They want you to feel as insignificant, as low as they normally feel, as negative. They want you to be infested with the same type of demons that they're infested with. So they try to throw that off on you. Sometimes you could be on vacation. Now this person know that you and your honey probably went through hell and hot water to get on this vacation. But at the same time, it's the same old person who always want to call you, bringing you down with all their issues that's going back in the States. And my passport stamped, I can't do that right now. Like you get that we invested a lot of time and a lot of money to be on this vacation, yet it's still, you want to put all of that down on me. Y'all got to be able to recognize that so you can clear your circle up. You got people who genuinely, every time you go somewhere, even locally, they got some stuff. You busy? Yeah, we out here. It won't take too long. Let me just tell you. I got to get this off of me so you can feel this way, so you can have a weight on you as you out, so that I and my issues can be overarching in your mind. That's crazy. I've never seen happy people do that. Now, on the flip, I've seen happy people say, hey, honey, you busy? Okay, well, you know what? Give me a call later. Y'all enjoy yourself. No, because I'm a woman. And that person might be a man to say, hey, I know what it's like to go out and have a good time. And maybe my day is not having the best, but I'm just glad that you're happy. I'm very happy that you're happy. Nah, haters, they hate when you're happy. They hate when you smile. Some of you are on even public platforms and our influencers and I can tell you per experiences a lot of times you be thinking that people love you like that you got to stay woke on this too nah people love what you can do for them yeah there's some people that say I just love you and there are some people who are genuinely just going to love you no matter what you're doing you'll see that because they support you when you're happy they support you when you're delivering a message but some people will only support you when you're serving them that's the reality of it no you don't love me you love how the words make you feel and it, it really doesn't change your life. It just changes you for the moment. It changes your mood. It doesn't change your life. Big difference. Big difference. That's what a lot of haters do. They love for their, their moments to be changed, their moods to be changed. But it's, it's quickly. It's quickly. Y'all got to understand this. And you got to clear your space when you see that happening frequently. Sometimes decline that phone. That man said he didn't want you. Now all of a sudden when you out on a girl's trip, he find himself continuously calling you about a child that's back somewhere with your mama. Call my mama. The kid ain't with me. Call my mama. She knows she would know more. Trying to ruin your moment. Happy people. If you were going to be so happy somewhere else, why you keep calling me? Why you keep trying to stress me out? Why you keep trying to bring me down? These people want you to feel how they feel. Feel as low. Feel as dirty as they feel on the inside. Even with love, these man-made holidays, man, I'm telling y'all, these folks, it's like the negativity rises to an all-time high. Y'all don't wanna see nobody get no flowers. You don't wanna see nobody drink a little wine and enjoy they self with they honey. You could have somebody in your same household, but because you so negative, you don't ran that man crazy. Or because you so negative as a man, you don't ran that woman away from you. Y'all could be living together, but pretty much roommates, Y'all don't love each other. Now, when you see somebody else's love, ain't nobody that happy. Liars. You big liars. Y'all don't like each other like that. Let me, let me. That's terrible. And y'all be young doing this too. Young and old. Young and old, you doing the same foolish mess. Negative. Miserable people. And then you a lie like you ain't. I, I, I don't have anything to be negative about. Oh, look at me. Look at, I have a career. I have a great car. And you're negative. 
and you got all that in mobiles to add along with it and you don't fool nobody because your movement tells it all out of the abundance of your heart your mouth speaks you're always quick with negativity nothing positive comes from you unless it's serving you oh thanks sweetheart for loving on me that way thank you guys for encouraging me that way it's only positive when it relates to you and it's a pseudo positivity so it ain't really positive at all anyways i just want y'all folks to know it's a lot of negativity in this air and if you guys chosen people you better be prepared to ban block and delete in real life love you much Mwah.